let's take a look at how we can create this kind of animating hexagon shield where the faces are rotating and scaling into place. I'm going to create a sphere. Let's make this a polygon sphere with a frequency of 8. And I also want to just slightly move this upwards on the y-axis. Something like this. To get the hexagon faces, I'm going to use a divide node set to compute dual. And this is going to take any triangle faces and turn them into hexagons. Let's use a UV texture set to polar point and fixed boundary seams. And the V component of this UV attribute is what's going to be responsible for our propagating mask attribute. Let's just clip this geometry on the Y axis. And I want to use a facet node. Check this unique points thing. And by doing this, all of the faces are going to be disconnected from each other. Let's also compute the normals. And we can use these normals to create our rotation axis later. Now we can turn these faces into packed primitives using the assemble sub. And I want to make sure I transfer both of those attributes. Now for the actual effect, I'm going to create a point triangle. And we first want to make a mask attribute that's going to be responsible for the scale and rotation of all of these faces. So let's store the V component of our UV attribute into a variable. And since we clipped this geometry, the lowest values of this V component are actually not going to be zero. And we can confirm this in the geometry spreadsheet. We can see the lowest values actually start at 0 0.41. So let's just refit this to go between 0 and 1. Like this. And let's also create a float variable called offset. It's just going to be a float parameter. Now for the actual attribute, I'm just going to store this into color. And I'm going to say color is equal to fit v minus offset going to fit this to go between 0 and 0 0.2 and it's going to be output into 1 to 0 and if we slide this we can see the colors are changing but since these are packed primitives we actually have to promote the color attribute to the primitives for Houdini to display the colors properly so by doing this we can see that we have a working propagation mask. I'm going to come to frame 12 and set a keyframe for this. So let's just make this invisible on the first frame and create another keyframe on frame 96 where the propagation is finished. And let's also shift click this control A and make the interpolation linear. Now for the main part of the effect, I'm going to create another wrangle. First of all, let's just create a rotation axis, which is going to be the normalized cross product of our normal and an up vector. And let's also create a float variable. It's going to be responsible for the amount of rotation. Now in Houdini, we have these hidden attributes called intrinsic attributes and packed primitives have their own set of these hidden attributes. And we can view them here in this intrinsic drop down menu. The one we want to access is this transform three by three matrix. This is unique because we can actually modify this. Let's start off by just storing that transform value into two different matrix three variables. So we can access that the intrinsic attributes by using the prim intrinsic function. It's going to be the transform attributes. And let's copy paste this and create another variable called M2. So now we have two variables with the same value. But I would like to modify one of these 
variables to be the rotated and scaled version of the matrix. And then we're going to be blending between those two based on our color that we created here. So let's try to do this. I'm going to have the M1 be the rotated and modified matrix. So let's start by rotating it based on our amount and our axis. And then we can set the blended matrices into the M2 variable. So I'm going to use the slurp function. Blend between M1, M2, and that's going to be based on our color attribute. Now I also would like to just scale this matrix because I want the faces to be invisible and scaled to zero when the colors are black and to set this modified prim intrinsic attributes we can use the set prim intrinsic function I'm going to set the same transform attribute and the value is going to be the m2 so let's try to rotate this what i would like to do is just make this rotation amount negative and let's also delete the color attributes we can see that this is working. And just as a, a bonus disclaimer, the more stable way to do this would actually be to convert both these matrices into quaternions and then convert them back to a matrix three because quaternions deal with uh, rotations a little bit better. So we can use the quaternion function for both of these. And we have to convert them back to a matrix three. And we can do that with the Q convert function. And let's just take this entire line of code. This should in theory be a little bit more stable. 